Five public servants have been awarded integrity icons for the year 2023 out of a poll of about 2,500 nominees from Nigeria's public service. This was during the Integrity Icon Summit, an award ceremony which was held in the nation's capital, Abuja, aimed at promoting integrity and transparency among public servants, especially in the quest to eradicate corruption. New Central's uh, Amadin Uyi tells us more. The Integrity Icon Summit and Awards is expected to play a vital role in shaping public perception about transparency, honesty and integrity in public service. According to the organizers of the Summit and Awards ceremony, there were over 2,500 nominations from the nation's public service. However, less than 10 made the court. Today's event is about naming and faming honest government officials, mainly civil servants. And they are the ones who we have identified this evening to name and fame five of them out of over 2,500 nominations which we've received nationwide. Bottom line of this is raising and praising those who excel at their duty posts. They are painstakingly going through, sieving out saints from sinners. Everyone has seen, but they work very hard through the long road of picking up people who serve with huge integrity, people who stand up, people who do the ordinary things in an extraordinary manner. One of the awardees admitted it was tough standing for what is right, but says it can be possible to stand for integrity in the midst of graft. I've had near experiences where I had only 2,000 naira in my purse and someone was offering me 200,000 naira over a case and I still had to turn down, not because I had so much, but because I just felt that integrity is not just in knowing the right thing, but in doing the right thing. Integrity is not just in doing the right thing when people are there, but also doing the right thing and standing firm when people are not there. And it shows in how we do the job, in communication, in uh, the way we come even to meetings, our attendance, our punctuality, and the way we allow the processes and the system to work together for good for all of us in Nigeria. Stakeholders say the award will improve integrity and transparency in Nigeria's civil and public service. When this is done, and people are rewarded and applauded and commended for standing out in their organization. It sends huge positive message to the rest of the members of such ministry departments and agencies across the nation. The summit and awards ceremony is in its seventh session and was organized by the United Nations Development Program, Luminate the Mark Otto Foundation, and the Ford Foundation. Nominations were openly carried out by civil servants. Amadin Uyi, reporting for News Central. In the meantime, some civil society organizations in Edo State, Niger's southern region, have tasked anti-graft agencies in the state to focus more on politically exposed persons than internet fraudsters. They say the focus on internet-related crimes is unjust, as politically exposed persons cause more harm to the nation's economy and the livelihoods of citizens. The groups took to the streets of Benin City, Edo State, to both the offices of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the Independence Corrupt Practices Commission. We have come out today to bear our minds on the sufferings of Nigeria that we know very well is caused by corruption, especially corruption by our politicians. We have come out today to remind the anti-graft agencies, EFCC and ICPC, their responsibility because it seems like they are not doing anything. So we have come to remind them that the energy that they are using to fight and correct our young ones who are involved in internet fraud, popularly called Yahoo Yahoo, that they should use same energy to fight our corrupt politicians. They should be able to fight the endemic corruption taking, that are taking over the country. 
we've noted that there are more concentrators on the in pursuit of the internet fraud instead of tackling the internal corruption which has brought us to where we are today as a nation. We have given an ultimatum to be to see them clamping on public officers who are taking over who have taken over our common resources to enrich themselves to the detriment of the common man. As a dozen society organizations, we are not going to keep quiet and watch them drift from what is being stated in the various acts and every the operation. We are out to express our disappointment and displeasure over the activities of the anti-graph agency for what where they are and what they've been doing so far. They have left their primary responsibility of chasing after the funds of Nigerians and they are now chasing after Yahoo Yahoo boys, whose activity does not have negative impacts on the Nigerian economy. So we are saying we want them to direct their activities to what they are meant to do. Pursue the political officers and the civil servants who are defraud who they are defrauding our treasury and increasing poverty and suffering the land. Concerning the palliatives, I can confirm that we will receive the petition. I can also tell you too that it's being looked into. We have done our own here. I've sent the petition to Abuja to give us the final go ahead. I can assure you, I know this time, that will be looking.